Hi, boys and girls. My book this week is called It's Chinese New Year, Curious George. And it's a book that tells us a little more about the Lunar New Year and in particular how China celebrates it. So let's take a look at what uh, Curious George is going to tell us today. Let's celebrate Chinese New Year. Welcome Chinese New Year, a special holiday. George is going to celebrate with his good friend named May. She shares the legend of Neon, a terrifying beast, and people who were brave enough to stop it and bring peace. So every year for 15 days, we celebrate this win, and after Chinese New Year ends, spring finally begins. In countries all around the world, cultures commemorate a time called Lunar New Year, and moon cycles set the date. Which zodiac animal are you? In the Chinese zodiac are 12 familiar creatures. In every year that passes, a new animal will feature. Hmm, which animals are ours? Wonder George and May. First, they need to look and find the year of their birthdays. This year is the year of the rabbit. George already knows his sign. He must be a monkey. Wait, George, look again, said May. Check your year and see. May has the sign of the dog. Dogs are patient and they're kind. George sees that he's the rabbit. Rabbits keep their friends in mind. A lucky start. Before things can begin, bad luck is swept away. The house is clean and ready for 15 fun-filled days. Both George and May cut their hair before the new year struck. A haircut on the brand new year would cut off all their luck. Now time for some new clothes. George, it's lucky to wear red. Oh look, George tries a silly hat, but gets a top instead. They decorate the house, a sign hangs upside down, the foo shows them the way that fortune comes around. Family reunion dinner. Families are together and elders are so pleased. Folks come visit from afar for Chinese New Year's Eve. Banquet on the table with lots of special food Everyone is thankful and filled with gratitude. Careful with the noodles, George. They symbolize long life. Breaking them while eating means luck is sacrificed. Yum, these tasty dumplings help wealth and fortune grow. May is mumbling through her mouth, all filled with dumpling dough. So each food means something special and brings a type of good luck. Lucky money. Mom and dad come over, red envelopes in hand. George and May say thank you and bow right where they stand. George can't wait to take a peek to see with his own eyes. He and May wave goodbye. They check for their surprise. Inside are eight new bills. The number eight is good. George and May get lucky money, as all the children should. Fireworks light up the sky. They stay up late tonight. Firecrackers pop, pop, pop. They marvel at the sight. Chinese New Year's Day. Happy Chinese New Year. George jumps out of bed. Luck and fortune follow if their clothes are red. The plan for New Year's Day, relax and have some fun. May knows just the thing to do with everyone. They all head into town to watch the fun parade. Everything's so festive, they walk the promenade. Dragon dance is starting, drums beat fast and loud. George jumps, George jumps in to help them make the dragon bow. Lantern Festival. Lantern Festival begins as Chinese New Year ends. 
When the first full moon appears, we welcome spring with friends. George eats Tang Ye rice balls. They're chewy, yummy, sweet, symbolizing wholeness. They are a tasty treat. George and May light lanterns. They hang them way up high. Red and gold is all around and brightens up the sky. George loves celebrating this holiday with May. Chinese New Year is so fun. Good luck is on its way. All right, boys and girls, I hope you learned a little bit more about the Lunar New Year and Chinese New Year and all the different parts. This book is set with tabs so that if you just wanted to read about the section to do with food, you just open it up and here's the section about family reunion dinner and you could learn a little bit more about the food. And then there's another tab that has to do with the lucky money and you could go to that page and just read about that. So a very clever way this author has set up the book to have tabs to go to special sections and we could learn just about that particular piece of the Lunar New Year. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our story, and I'd love to know what you're doing to celebrate Lunar New Year for these next 15 days. Have a great week, everyone.